good morning friends welcome to vijay mohan ias academy this is vijay mohan and as you know that we are in the module of tspsc group on minds video course and test series intended for english medium students and we are discussing telangana economy especially the chapter 1 of telangana economy and in the previous video we had a discussion about telangana economy telangana economy in hyderabad state agriculture industry and trade we are discussing this aspect of the first chapter of telangana economy and yesterday uh, in the previous class we had completed agriculture telangana economy in hyderabad state and related to agriculture development what is the nature of agriculture development prior to the salarjing reforms what is the nature of agriculture development after salarjing reforms so we have seen all those related issues and we also saw some of the practice questions related to that issue and we are into the area of telangana economy or industrial development of telangana economy in hyderabad state right so in this video i'll be dealing with the what is the development of industry or what is the industrial development after salarjing reforms in the telangana area right so briefly i'll be taking you through what are the topics that we already covered in the previous video in the previous video as far as telangana economy is concerned right so in the previous video we had seen what are the probable areas of questions being framed in this particular topic then we also saw what is the contextual background of the development or economic development we also saw what is the contextual background of the economic development of telangana area in the erstwhile hyderabad state right then we also saw development of agriculture in telangana how development of agriculture has happened what is the nature of agriculture development as i already told you prior to the salarjing reforms what is the nature of agriculture development after salarjing reforms how it has been shifted from shifted to commercialization aspect how agriculture has shifted from subsistence based to commercial aspect or commercialization of agriculture has happened and we also observed what are the elements of commercialization that you can observe in the agriculture development of telangana area in the erstwhile hyderabad state that issue also we have seen and we can see majorly the commercialization we can see in cotton production in the previous class we all we discussed all these things then oil seed production then exports of cotton and oil seed production in these areas you can observe the commercialization of telangana agriculture as far as erstwhile hyderabad state is concerned right then we also saw what is the component of irrigation development how irrigation development has been neglected and we also saw what is the increase in the cross cropped area and what is the change in cropping pattern from food to non food crops predominance of non crop non food crops in the cropping pattern right these are the areas that in the previous class we have seen and we also observed two practice questions these are the practice questions starting from the second half of the 19th century the telangana agriculture sector witnessed commercialization in its development in its development discourse you need to justify this then discuss the nature of development of agriculture sector in the telangana area of hyderabad state these are the two practice questions we have seen then <coughs> we had a discussion about development of industrial sector in telangana area prior to the salarjing reforms how it has been rural subsistence in nature it has been rural subsistence in nature and commodity production used to be carried by the rural handicraft workers and artisans and the production is useful for the people dependent on caste based occupations and what are the dominant or what is the dominance of caste caste based occupations as far as telangana telangana areas industry and industry is concerned in the astral hyderabad state and we also saw what is the industrial production that was happened that was happened during the or prior to the salarjing reforms right then then we also observed that after the salarjing reforms the industrial development took place in three phases that is first phase 
that is first phase 1870 to 1919 second phase 1919 to 1939 and third phase 1939 to 1949 and what are the broad you can say what are the broad things that has happened during that phase what is the crux of the what do you say what is the crux of the policy measure that has happened during that phase so we have stopped in the previous class up to here now we will see one by one what has actually happened during these phases of industrial development of telangana area in the erstwhile hyderabad state right see the phases might not be asked directly in the exam like that that what is the industrial development happened in the three phases of telangana area explain they might not ask directly but if you want to write any answer related to the industrial development of telangana area during the erstwhile hyderabad state period or during the nizam period then you should have idea about all these three phases then you will be able to write your answer comprehensively whether the question will be asked directly or indirectly then you will have a comprehensive understanding of the industrial ecosystems ecosystem prevailing prior to salajang reforms and after salajang reforms that is the point that i have been telling you in a comprehensive manner about the things that has happened in the three phases so that you will get a holistic picture and you will be able to answer any question which is being asked on the industrial development of telangana area in the hyderabad erstwhile hyderabad state right so we will see one by one then you will be able to understand <coughs> so after salarjang reforms industrial development can be divided into three phases as we already discussed first phase is 18 from between 1870 to 1919 this is the in phase of intensive reforms as far as salarjang re intensive phase of salarjang reforms is concerned that is 1853 to 1883 these three the, these three decades saw many reforms in governance in administration in agriculture in irrigation development in revenue revenue related issues in industrial related issues in exports related issues so this is the period where intensive or foundations of modern industrial development has been laid out laid down as far as telangana's industrial development is concerned right now we will see one by one we will see the second phase is 1919 to 1939 and third phase is 1939 to 1949 which coincides with the world war 2 right so we will first deal with the first phase as we already discussed first phase is related to 1870 and 1919 in this phase the institutional support of the government was initiated you have to observe the lines carefully and you have to remember that in this phase the institutional support from the government was initiated it is not finished or it has not provided rigorously but the initiation has been started the initiation of government support the initiation of government finance the initiation of government's institutional support or the government's institutional support has been initiated and you can observe where you can observe this institutional support of government there are various sectors or there are various aspects of the economy where you can observe the institutional support of telangana government as far as industrial development of telangana is concerned first we will see we can take railways right so those are the days or those are the periods where railways british government even the british government is laying emphasis on the development of railways telegraph postal so obviously nizam state or nizam government also took an interest in the development of railways right if you see the railways the proposal for the railways in the hyderabad state was initiated around 18 61 it was initiated around 1861 and in 1899 godavari railway godavari valley railway line in 1899 the godavari valley railway line of 386 miles was established in the hyderabad state and if you observe this godavari valley railway line godavari valley railway line it is a very important railway line in the nizam state as far as telangana area of nizam state is concerned because it has provided the impetus for industrial development the impetus for the supplying of raw materials the impetus for what do you say providing providing products or industrial production to the market right 
and this godavari valley railway line is this godavari valley railway line is connecting connecting hyderabad to hyderabad to manmad manmad area of maharashtra manmad area of maharashtra so in this way this godavari valley railway line which is initiated around 1899 are established around 1899 is an important component of government's initiation towards the development towards the industrial development of telangana area right now if you observe even you can see that this godavari valley railway line is part of the nizams part of the nizams state guaranteed state guaranteed railway this is part of the nizams state guaranteed railway what is this the godavari railway line is part of or you can say that these two are the important railway lines what is the other component nizams state guarantee railway line okay just try to remember this and if you go to go to telegraph in 1857 telegraph system was introduced in the hyderabad state as i already told you that the railways is the one component where states support you can see the state support and also telegraph is the another area where you can observe the initiation or support of the telangana government as far as industrial development of telangana is concerned right now you will see yeah postal postal department in 1872 postal department was started and hyderabad city and all other district headquarters were linked with the railway transport here you observe that these three components are very very important railway telegraph and postal system or postal department see in 1872 the postal department was started and after starting the hyderabad city and all other district headquarters were linked with the railway transport what this has created this starting of railway line or supporting railway line godavari valley railway line and also the telegraph and also postal department this has created a logistical what can what you can see logistical foundation for the industrial ecosystem of the telangana area right and one more thing coal mining hyderabad deccan mining company formed in 1920 soon after that singareni colleries company was established see these names are important while if you are writing answer as far as industrial development of telangana area during the erstwhile hyderabad state you need to mention these names simply writing that there has there was a government support for the industrial ecosystem of telangana area you are not going to get the marks you need to particularly mention some of the names like as we already seen godavari valley railway line then hyderabad deccan mining company then singareni colleries company so these names will add value to your to your answer compared to the other answers right so try to remember some of the names which i am mentioning here right there is a development of agro based industries also what are those due to irrigation and godavari valley railway line oil seed production picked up rapidly so as i already told you this godavari valley railway line telegraph and postal department and coal mining this has created foundation for the logistical ecosystem right so and this has given incentive for the development of some of the agro based industries like oil seed production so due to irrigation godavari valley railway line oil seed production picked up rapidly now after formation of the first cotton mill in 1874 several agro based industries were established like rice mills and flour mills so this has created a virtuous cycle so this has created a chain reaction where it has helped for the development of agro based industries and the and in the latter part of the industrial development of telangana area you can observe that the agro based industries transform or the industrial ecosystem will transform from predominance of agro based industries to non agro based industries you can observe that in the next slides right so what are the other in the industries that has developed apart from the agro based industries during the first phase that we are discussing the other industries include in some places the engineering workshops were opened under the public sector here you observe the word under the public sector so nizam government 
or the government of hyderabad state is predominantly providing support as far as infrastructural facilities is concerned as far as finance is concerned so you can observe one more thing in some places engineering workshops were opened under the public sector as per 1921 industrial statistical data in the hyderabad state the number of workers in organized sector was 35000 you can see here the development of you can see the what do you say evidence of the industrial development initial industrial development in the telangana area right in addition to that workers in railways and coal mines these are the two important areas railways and coal mines together account for 23000 right and all this had given a lot of stimulus for the economic activities in the state so in the first phase because of the interest or because of the support given by the nizam state there was you can say lot of stimulus for the economic activities in the state so it has created a initial stimulus or support for the economic development of telangana area now this has continued in the second phase see second phase is from 1919 to 1939 whatever initiations or whatever the initiatives that has or that has given by the nizam government during the first phase has been continued in the second phase also and apart from that there is more government involvement in the second phase we will see that the institutional support see wherever you are writing about the first phase add the word institutional support initiation of institutional support the institutional support of the government which is initiated in the first phase has continued in the second phase also as i already told you 